My name is Eve Wright. I'm a visual artist and I like to create installations that deals and confront spaces. I've had to exodus London a long time ago. I needed space to work and I kind of found myself out here in Perfleet. So uh, we're about 20 minutes from London. Yeah, this is kind of home in a way, as a studio where I work, it's a home. You know, I have my internet, of course, I have my phone and everything else, but sometimes you just need to be away from that technology for a while to be able to engage new thought processes and think about new mark making. It gave me time to come out and think about what type of work I wanted to make. I felt walking drawings was one of my projects I felt I wanted to sort of investigate the way the figure can enter a drawing and leave a drawing without being the subject of that drawing. We, uh, we created two works on that beach, um, one with uh, heavy horses and the other with co called Coloured People. It was the second drawing I did the second day. Um, I conceived um, Takeaway Takeover from out here. That was done in Colchester. I wanted to create a cultural space within that takeaway and then bringing that idea, transporting it into London. That was done this year at the Migration Museum. I use film when I need it, I use drawing when I need it, I use painting when I need it. I'm not, a, I'm not wedded to one specific art medium. I'm more interested in what medium works, what has the most effect. 100 Black Women is my new project. Look at these, look at these beautiful red berries. That's lovely colours. You know, sometimes you need a little bit of uh, that little bit of silence so you can get your thoughts together, get your ideas together. Happens. This is where the, all the magic happens. So, so. I'm working on um, the 100 Black Women project. Uh, it involves 100 portraits of 100 Black Women produced in different media, predominantly drawing and etching. When the model's in situ, I actually draw onto the plate. It's virgin when it arrives, no marks on it. Um, I, when the model comes to the studio, what I like to do, I like to do a series of drawings is before I start to etch. So, um, these are ink drawings. So I can, I can, this dries, but I can, I can wash it off because it's, it's water-based and it's got, it's got a chemical in there that it's not supposed to stick to the plate because it's going to come, it's going to come off eventually. After the, this is dried on the plate, then I take it to the etching studio and I cover the whole plate with the acid, with, it's, it's like an acid resist. And then there's a process where I put this plate in hot water and all this, all this, neg this area here will dissolve and it create a negative area. See, there's two plates that's got like um, two drawings in there. This is like an expression, interested in the abstraction of the figure, how to extra abstract it. And then obviously there's all that whole thing about the African body, the black body. You know, what does it look like? The spirit within the body. I'm, first and foremost for me is the, the mediums. I'm, I, am, I need to engage myself with the material. And that material on this occasion is charcoal. And I've taken the charcoal, I've made a, a, a pictorial figurative representation of charcoal in the form of drawing. So I'm actually revealing the white paper coming through the black. So the, the, the whiteness is underneath and I'm putting black on top of the white paper. And the, black, the whiteness is shown, it's come through that. 
blackness to form the imagery. So essentially, the charcoal, like the black ink of Charbonnel or graphic chemical, uh, dark, dark blue or whatever those inks, there are, I, I'm always interested in um, the way, you know, so there is a kind of relationship. Of course, there's always that relationship with blackness, whiteness versus whiteness. How, you know, and in a way, they, the black and white coming together in the drawing is quite nice because they, they come in, it, it, it's, it's, in fact, there's almost that unity going on between the two things, the whiteness of the paper versus the blackness of the charcoal. They both need to be in equilibrium to get the drawing. The people who I'm communicating to are a black audience. I want them to see themselves within these drawings. I don't want to intellectualize everything. I, don't want, I want it to be able to say, that's me. It's a representational installation. And it's not just these drawings. There's a body of work that's gonna take over a space. So the power of that, the black body, hopefully will resonate out in, into the gallery space. You know, what's gonna happen? I'm, I, I don't know yet. I always work in a series. I always have different works going at different times. This is the part of the series I've been working on for the past few years. I call them kissy pennies, based around African old money that was used in the slave era. I make my kissy pennies from two elements, the Africom, the decorative part. This is on, on some old Dutch furniture. So it says new black, it says new black on it. <laughs> so with those two elements I made, I made moulds of the both of them. So I intend to create artworks from them. But this is a passport holder my passport will sit in the centre. Here's one of the pieces I've made. This is made out of nickel silver, the stuff that we'd use to make money with. And these are just all the same elements repeated over and over again. Now let's take these same elements and create this sort of an English, it's like a British lady. All, all artists can do is pursue what means something to him or her. I have no specific ambition, it's more about I want to put something out there culturally that makes sense first to myself and may, maybe makes sense to people, other people. It's a, it's a very loaded cultural space, the art world. Uh, there's a lot of things out there that determines whether you're successful or not. Producing art isn't like saying I'm being an accountant or being a, a lawyer or whatever, where there's a, there's a, a structured career a pathway you can walk along. All you can do is, as, a, as an artist is work within your realm. You want to find answers to internal questions. Why are there more black art featured within major collections? You know, what, why, why isn't that happening? We're producing art. Why aren't we represented? <laughs>